So this is my new Halloween prop this year for 2012. I'm going to use a pneumatic air device to uh, lift the cylinder here, which is going to go inside my coffin. It's going to lift the lid open and shut. So I have this all connected to my air compressor here, which I've had sitting in my garage. My father-in-law gave it to me and just been using it to uh, pump car tires, but I decided uh, to put it to some other use. And I found out that pneumatic air devices are great use for Halloween props in addition to uh, wiper motors. And these are the two most common devices used to animate Halloween props right now. Uh, also people have been using linear actuators but these are by far a lot more common and a lot cheaper to use. So I got all this stuff from FrightProps.com here. So basically I'll, to have it all set up I have a 3 8 inch hose coming out of my air compressor which is pretty common for most air compressors. And then right here it has a quick connect, which is just connected to a reducer that reduces the line from 3 8 inch to 1 quarter inch line right here. 1 quarter inch line goes to most stuff, typically. And so all this goes into a 5-way 4-port solenoid switch. So the main air line comes into here, and then there's two outs and two exhausts, and then two exhausts have... Uh, speed control mufflers hooked up to them, which are 1 8 inch, and these can control how fast the uh, air cylinder is going to open and close. So, and these two valves go here to a double acting uh, air salt cylinder here, and uh, there's an input line which controls how fast it shoots out, and an output line which controls how fast it closes. And this is a 1 and 1 16th inch bore. And, which is the uh, circumference of the thing and it's a uh, 8 inch stroke I believe it goes out 8 inches and then goes back and so it's all hooked up right now oh and also it's hooked up to a regulator here which controls um, how many how much PSI is going into it so right now I have it set up for just 25 that's all it's really needed to lift the coffin lid um, it's recommended that you use no more than 120 PSI but 25 is easily enough to lift the lid and I have it locked shut so it doesn't move so I'll keep, keep it steady at 25 bur 20 psi bursts into the cylinder so to test it my solid night switch has a little manual override and so I could just press the button and you'll see there it goes and now I have it configured so that it slowly leaks out air so it slowly lifts uh, shut the coffin lid so it doesn't hurt anyone. Um, I could twist and turn the cylinders here to control how fast it opens and shuts. And right here this is connected to an AC device so if I have it plugged in it will fire the solenoid and, open, and uh, fire off the air cylinder. And so what I did is I hooked up the uh, AC device to AC plug to uh, a wireless trigger which is connected to an extension cord here. So with the wireless trigger I could use a remote like this and press it on and then off. Let's see now it's closing. So I'm going to use this and stand behind the door and when people go by the coffin I'll fire it off and then close it. And so that's what it's going to look like outside. This is how it's all configured. Uh, next I'll show you how it looks like when it's all inside the coffin configured. Thank you.